Welcome to It's a Risky Life. Today we'll describe how probabilities may be interpreted in different ways. When all results seem equally likely, we interpret a probability as the number of favorable cases divided by the number of possible cases. The probability of getting a 2 would be 1 divided by 6. I don't need throws to guess it. But in many cases we ignore whether the results are equally likely and we need to perform trials. For example, if I want to find out the probability of suffering the side effects of a medicine, I have to test it in many patients. When the number of trials is big enough, I may estimate the probability as the quotient between the number of patients with side effects and the number of participants in the trial. But the key element lies within. Since probabilities may be interpreted subjectively, representing our degree of belief on an event. This degree varies among subjects which we measure through calibration experiments. Should we want to know your forecast of Real Madrid winning the Champions League, we just need to take a gamble. Imagine you choose between earning 100 euros if heads comes out when flipping a coin, or earning 100 euros if Real Madrid wins the Champions League. Which bet would you choose? If you prefer to flip the coin, it's because you believe Real Madrid's chance of winning is less than 50%. If now the options are earning 100 euros if the club is drawn from a deck of cards, or if Real Madrid wins the champions and you choose the deck, it means your degree of belief on Real Madrid winning is below 25%. With similar tests, we gradually narrow down your degree of belief until we reach the required precision. Among the three interpretations, subjective probability is the most general one and provides the basis of Bayesian statistics. And it's so useful that it has been employed to find exoplanets, recognize voices, or better predict elections' outcomes. What is my actual weight? Send also the narrowest possible interval so you're 90% sure that it contains my actual weight. Send your answers by email and you could win a programmable social robot.